Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V. Last time we got a black chocobo, we got a black chocobo, we got awesome music playing in the background, and I'm ruining it by talking like this. Alright, so yeah, we came here to Crescent Town, our sh fucking fire ship, which we just got back into commission. Sunk to the bottom of the ocean. Stupid earthquakes. But we got a black chocobo as consolation prize. And it can fly anywhere around the world. So from here in Crescent Town, we are going to fly east, young man. East indeed. We're going to go east. Let's go east. Let's go east. Let's not go east. I don't know what to say because I love this song so much. Da, 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 ba, bo, ba, bo, ba. This awesome song, um, this song so awesome. Now, see this cave right here? This is actually where we're gonna go next in a second. I just want to show you where we're actually headed and show you that we can't actually land anywhere but in forests. We're actually gonna go to this town next right here. Like I just said, though, we can't go there quite yet because you have to land in a forest. So, as you track back the land, the closest forest we have is this one that I passed a minute ago. So, we gotta walk our ass all the way over to that town. Let's have a fun little shrek over there. We'll probably run into at least one type of new enemy on the way there. Let's see what it could be. Let's see. Hmm, shall we? Shall we? Should be something new, right? Um, not new at all. We fought one of these at the end of last episode. Bio soldiers. Biodegradable soldiers. All you gotta do is throw them in a compost pile and they're biodegradable. I think. I think that's how it works, right? God damn it. Fucking bio is a ridiculous spell. Not only does it kick my ass, but it it freaking hurts me, man, and it hurts you beyond beyond like what it does. Like all my HP is going down every second. It's not cool. Not cool at all, man. It's the not coolest thing in the not cool world. Screw you, bio soldiers. Screw you. At least they give you two ABP. I'm starting to get more than one ABP per battle, which is nice. It'll allow me to level up my job levels a little bit more and learn some more abilities because I haven't gotten a whole lot of that. Now, I said I was going to go in this cave first, so let's do that. The cave is called the Jackoff Cave or the Jaggle Cave. Fine. Now, this cave is actually not very long. It's kind of short, actually. There's just a few treasures here. This cave is actually completely optional. You don't have to come here at all if you don't want to. And it's probably full of some more new enemies. First, first of which is called the Nut Eater. And what they like to do is eat nuts. So, the equivalent of a squirrel. I would call them the equivalent of a squirrel. I mean, they fucking look like one. I don't know why you can't just call them squirrels. The one positive note of this cave is you will fight a lot of these guys, and they're really easy. The downside is you'll run into a, a much harder version of them, and they're not so easy. Now, I think... There's got to be a switch that moves a wall around or something. I can't remember. I hope I don't run into the really hard squirrel in this place. Oh, there's a switch. Hit it. Yeah. Okay. The key to that whole wall of switches is the real one will appear, and you have to hit the real one before the other ones come back. I just got really lucky, and the first switch I went to was the far left, and it worked. So, yeah. There's the switch to open that door. We go in the door, and there's our first treasure box or something. There's nothing in there. I know there's treasure in here, man. There's got to be treasure in here. That's the whole reason I came to this place. I should be coming up on the treasures in this place real soon. There, I see the. I see them already. Shuriken, awesome. Oh, I'll take a shuriken. I'll do it. I'll take that shuriken. I'll throw that shit. I'll throw it. Oh, here's the skull eater I've been looking for. Run away! Oh man, he fucked up butts right away. Holy crap! Definitely need to do some healing now that that happened. But yeah, that's the that was the harder version of the squirrel I was talking about. Let's get this treasure chest first, and then we do some healing. Yeah, it was just a tent, but the real reason I came here was, well, sort of for the shuriken, but mostly for the last chest. And the real reason I'm coming here is just to kind of for, for completion's sake. And one thing I should note about this whole dungeon is, if you come here... Okay, let me let me go back. Remember back in Walls when there was those jail cells that we got put in, or maybe that was Karnak, and there was a no, that was it was Walls. Back in Walls, there was like a dungeon that had like three or four prisoners in there, and you could open each of the doors if you wanted to, 
One of them had like a werewolf. He was like a pickpocket werewolf. The key to this cave is if you let him out, the treasures that are here are all gone if you let him out because he'll take them before you get here. And the last but not least, you get the shock whip, which we'll be able to equip on a, a trainer or something. I don't remember. Back when I was at Walls, I should have noted the whole thing about this cave at the time about the pickpocketing werewolf and why not to let him out of the jail cell, even though you can if you want to. By the way, I do have all the treasures now, so I'm just heading back out of here the way I came. I don't have any teleport or exit magic yet that can allow me to just get the hell out of dungeons real easily. I should note that I literally am fighting squirrels on every single one of these random battles, just so you guys know. It's either just a group of three regular squirrels or one of those really hard ones that kicks my ass. I am loving that each of these battles is giving me more than one ability point at a time though. We're almost back out of this place, just gotta hit this switch and then right back out the door and we'll be good. Damn it, one more battle. Alright, hit the switch and we're back out, fine, good lord. So now we can head over to that town over here and actually find some other new stuff. Maybe have a little bit more interestingness to the episode. So the name of the cave was Jackal Cave, right, right. So if the name of the cave was Jackal Cave, what could possibly be the name of the town? I didn't know I was going to find another new enemy. These are just bombs, so they're not really that new. I mean, we fight these in every Final Fantasy ever. They like to self-destruct when you get them down to low health. So if you kill them quickly, you never have to worry about the self-destruct sequence. Never gotta worry if you kick the ass fast. But seriously, if the name of the cave was Jackal Cave, what could be the name of the town that's near Jackal Cave? I don't know, maybe Jackal Village? Hmm? Jackoff Village. This is Jackoff Village. Descendants of Ronka. Whoever the Ronka are. The store sells weapons and tools that were discovered in the cave in the north. Interesting. My grandpa was an adventurer and he said something sleeps under the Crescent Island. Does it? Well, yeah, my ship, because it ain't there no mo. My pappy's an adventurer. That's fantastic, kid. Don't you feel fucking special? What do you got here at the item shop? Anything cool? Anything special? Anything I want to buy? Not really. I want none of your shit, son. I want none of your shit. So we got upstairs. Ooh, the tavern. This is the bar where all the adventurers looking for treasure from North Mountain hang out. North Mountain? North Mountain's hella far away. They must mean Jackal Cave, because North Mountain is hella far. That's the cave where we, or that's the mountain where we got the dragon. That's so long ago. The chests in the cave may look open, but check them anyways. You never know what the ancient people have put in them. Yeah, we learned that already. There were switches. So let's play some piano. Wow, that was short and sweet, but we are actually learning to play songs now, which is pretty cool. Can we get a lap dance before we go? Uh... No? Come on, you two. What? Okay. <laughs> and everyone watching at home, too. Um, sorry, I don't want to get up and dance. I'm not in the mood. One more time! <laughs> Oh, I completely forgot about the actual dance. I'm all thinking this is lap dance time. I forgot that they actually make your sprite dance along with the chick. That is funny. Oh, man, that was worth it. That was so worth it. So anyway, that was our fifth piano. We're starting to actually play real songs now, even though we're still not that great at them. I think there's a total of eight pianos in the whole game. So by the end, you'll see us. You'll hear some really awesome piano songs we're playing, cranking out. You know how we do. Oh, do we need any of this stuff? No. Ninja suit, by the way, I should mention, is the suit that I got. I got a ninja suit back in the Library of the Ancients. Remember how I missed the chest and I said I was going to go back and get it? Well, that chest was a ninja suit, so I'm not going to buy that right now. In fact, I'm not going to buy any, uh, any uh, armor and stuff. I'm just going to buy weapons. Because I know this place has got... Yeah! That's what we're talking about. I'm going to buy a coral sword for my knight. Hmm, silver bow, katana. I'm going to buy a katana for a job that I don't have yet. I'm going to buy a trident because I don't have one and I have a 
I have actually that's make me that's actually gonna make me want to sell some stuff. I'm gonna buy one mage slasher. Um, I'll buy a cleaver. I'll buy a silver bow. And I think I just bought one of everything, huh? In that case, let's sell some old stuff because I was loading up on old stuff before. Ninja knife sucks. Mithril sword I don't need anymore. I already have one equipped, anyways. I got a better whip now. We can get rid of the original whip. Flail. We're never gonna get back to using the flail, are we? You know what? I'll keep the flail just because I'm not sure. Anything else I know I don't need? Mithril pike. I think I just replaced that with a better, better spear. Yeah, the spear and the um, katana. We'll be using those a little bit later. Mithril hammer. I just got a better axe. Coral sword. I just bought. Plumed hat. We can get rid of that. Um, silk robes. Um, I'll keep one just in case. Ribbon. I still haven't figured out who I can equip that on. We'll keep my accessories. Silver plate. I think we can buy better armor than that now. And the rest of the stuff is stuff I just bought. So we're good. I don't know if my inventory has got a limit like it did in the last few games. Can't recall exactly. Now, is that all there is to do here? Could have sworn there was a magic shop as well. It's because there is. No one's ever gone to the ruins. Blah, blah, blah. scooby da. Let's check the magic shop, shall we? I don't think this magic shop's going to have anything new, though. Pretty sure the only reason to come to this town is to buy the ma- uh, the- uh, the- uh, what do you call- it? what am I trying to say? To buy the weapons. That's what I was trying to say. That's really the only reason to come to this town. Okay, so now that we have gotten some stuff and checked out a new town and checked out a new cave and got some extra stuff, by the way, this town and that cave, completely optional if I haven't already stressed that. I'm going to go ahead and take a rest here at the inn. Wait, can we go outside here? It looked like there was a door. There was. That's kind of weird. you think there'd be stuff in these chests and stuff. What the heck, man? There's nothing. They say you can hear strange sounds coming out of the earth. Yeah, I know. Strange sounds like earthquakes that take your ship. Damn it. Nah, that whole sounds coming from the bottom of Crescent Island will be important later. Just remember that. So we're going to take a rest here at the end. And that'll conclude this episode. Oh, so what I'm going to do now is probably just head back over to the Black Chocobo. And we'll start next episode back on top of the Black Chocobo. And we'll explore a little bit more of this crazy world. So, yeah. I'll see you guys then. And until then, peace!